Hello, this is Tim Wilms reporting for The Unshackled. This is outside Melbourne Magistrates Court on Monday the 4th of September 2017 at the beginning of the trial of the Bendigo Three, who at the time of the release of this video have been found guilty of offending Muslims under Victoria's Racial and Religious Tolerance Act. This was for performing a mock beheading in Bendigo in 2015. The first accused, Christopher Shortius, has just entered the court. As you can see, the Campaign Against Racism and Fascism are here, which is another socialist Antifa-aligned uh, thug group. Obviously, they are happy that free speech is under threat. No doubt they'd send us all to the gulag if they could, and no doubt we'll be cheering the verdict handed down. Yes, they have so many friends in high places that they've just been fined $2,000 each. some of the most restrictive anti-terror legislation in this world, all to target and vilify... Yes, they have so many friends in high places that they've just been fined $2,000 each. ...because they have a lot of power in society. What are you actually saying about? It's about showing how our position has been to racism. We don't think that the Australian government... Obviously, the most well-known Australian patriot, Blair Cottrell, leader of the United Patriots Front, is now entering the court, clearly giving it back to these protesters.
Sadly, this is Victoria now, where free speech and free assembly do not exist. Left us for the government and the streets. The rally they are referring to here is Abby Yemini's Make Victoria Safe Again rally. Uh, Abby also showed his support for the three accused on Monday afternoon. So at this upcoming rally, expect more leftist intimidation. Yes, it wouldn't be a leftist rally without mentioning all these other groups. Dark times for freedom in the state of Victoria. This is Tim Wilms reporting for The Unshackled. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.